Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Misfits Racing League action. It is time, of course, for the America's Tier 2 Racing Division, and we are here for the ninth round. Hungary. The Hungaro Ring, and I'm very excited to take you through tonight's racing action. And I think I might have stars joining me at some point this evening as well. Of course, 14 turns here around Budapest is the Hungaro Ring, and it is a very intense circuit. Not too many opportunities to overtake around the Hungaro ring and we'll just have to see how these racers navigate it in a few moments of course as mentioned the ninth round we have 15 rounds on the season five calendar next week we'll be moving through to singapore following that a break week and then we move on ahead to france then spain austria mexico and then the well the finale in brazil a very intense racing circuit there of course in brazil Take a look at the standings. Standings very intense here in the America's Tier 2 division as Dieg Surf, 123 points, leads Johnny Disco by 13. Then we move through, of course, to Vlad Putin, 88 points in third position. We have Graz, fourth. Henners in fifth with 59. Combined in sixth, Larkin, seventh. Duffeld in eighth. Sidewinder in ninth, and Jimsy running out. The top 10 Alfa Romeo McLaren and Red Bull in the same order as the drivers in the Constructors Championship Alfa Romeo on 199 points on top very solid very solid stuff right there now with that said with the standings now looked at that is the cue to really get us into racing action here and we will get things underway in just a moment's time Very excited for 35 laps here around Hungary. 18 minutes of qualifying, but 35 laps. It is a relatively quick lap time around Hungary. I'll also have to see if we get a well, look at dynamic weather. From what I understand, we saw some dynamic weather in the Tier 4 Racing Division earlier this afternoon or this evening, wherever you may be joining us. Of course... Some of the viewers may be joining us from the UK or in Europe. Hot tier four earlier. I do believe there was some intermediate condition running. Countdown is in effect 10 seconds now counting down before we jump into what will be 18 minutes of qualifying action we're gonna get that roll of the dice for the weather as well really get a look at whether or not we're gonna see any rain and personally i would love to see some rain however i'm sure these racers definitely don't want to see the dynamic conditions come through to play Welcome to the session. Loading has completed and well, it's going to be a sunny session here in the qualifying. 18 minutes in now. Taking a look at the quali well, the entirety of the grid this evening. In the Williams, we have Henners. For Haas, we have Gaziag, Alfa Romeo, of course, Dieg Surf, Captain Minor for Mercedes. It is combined YouTuber in the other Alfa Romeo. Deng Wu for Alpine, Victor, aka Jimsy, over at McLaren. Thrills for Ferrari, hello, I'm Hacker in the Aston Martin. Larkin for Mercedes, we have Spinini for Alpine. We have Vlad Putin and Sidewinder, the pair over at Red Bull with Cattle King for Haas. Word at in the Williams. We have Duffeld for Aston Martin. Paula Brady, of course, in the Alpha Tower. Johnny Disco on the outlap right now, following along from the broadcast camera. He is 18th on the timing tower, however, second in this championship, fighting for a potential race win and leadership change, as it is a 13 point separation. Graz. 
in the Ferrari joining us, as well as the other Alpha Tari, Mr. Jay Fursai. First driver to take us through a lap will be the McLaren of Mr. Johnny Disco. On the medium compound tires at that, tire compound strategies can come into play here around Hungary. Just have to see what everybody's feeling through as we come into the 14th and final turn uh, to begin a lap around the Hungaro ring. We're down turn one now, second gear. Opening that DRS on the rear wing as we push through into turn two. Flying out of turn two now. Hugging things tight on the inside, trying to find that exit curb just a touch. Now through on the inside, finding that apex into turn four. Just flicking things left into turn five now. Careful just to gradually hug that inside curb. You don't want to take too much of that. You can definitely unsettle the car and find yourself around very neat through the chicane. Ooh, just snapping things off to the left-hand side there, running things wide, and then, then, unfortunately, invalidating the run Vlad Putin behind him in that red bull with the limited edition livery presently. Very nice. Purple Sector 2, as we saw the invalidation come ahead of him. Here we go now, the Red Bull out of 14 to the line. 16.635 will be the first run. Next up to come through. Just finding right now, I do believe it will be the Alpine of Spinini to set a time. Do what Spinini can do. The Alpine now crossing through at 16135. That's on the softs. And there is a big crash. Who was that? That was Graz coming out of 14. Major damage. This is very, very scary for him. As that could have almost been terminal retirement. He does set a time on the rear of Jay for Sai. Albeit not a very competitive one. Victor Diaz, a.k.a. Jimsy, pushing through 16.953. Three drivers on the mediums into the times at the moment. Make it four. Captain Minor, 17.139. Solid run out of him. Thrills, 15.969. First driver to go sub-116 here. It is the Ferrari on the softs. Really great runs coming in here early. Henner is just pushing now into the chicane. He did set a purple sector one. He word add into the times as well. All already beginning a lap. Jay Versai, of course, into the pit lane. Back to Henner's. He is coming through 13. Henners pushing P4. 16.690. Solid run from him. Jump on with Paula and take a look at how this run goes. The ERS not showing engaged at the moment. Not clear if. He is just taking some practice runs around here, however. 11th position ahead of Graz, given the lap from Graz. Not very representative of a solid time here, given what's on the board right now. We did see the issue coming out of turn 14 for the Ferrari. Big surf. Well, 15.145, a very competitive time. Out of the Alfa Romeo, and well, it's another Alfa Romeo one two. We saw this last week, coming out of Dieg Surf and combined YouTuber, albeit Dieg Surf had a very, very unfortunate incident 
resulting in a terminal retirement. Combined YouTuber picking up the torch, getting that race win, solid drive. Now back to strike again. The Alfa Romeo squad looking very strong all season long. 15, 1, 4, 5, 15, 9, 2, 9, respectively, out of the duo. Oh, chaining laps on that set right now. struggles right now for Cal King not really able to get something together given the invalidation not a lot of drivers on active runs well Johnny Disco excuse me has just begun soft compound tires for him majority of the runners have set times on the medium now we see the softs to come out through the chicane. Operation in the midfield quite tight at the moment. However, we do have a lot of mediums. Comes Johnny. Got in him. It's good enough for pole of 15.072 from the McLaren. A very nice run from Johnny Disco. Vlad Putin behind him separating the Alfa Romeos. Very nice. Thrills pushing, looking very quick. Graz has begun. Dang me with an issue. That's not good. Arkin moving on by him. Day for Psy, P4. Very nice run from him as well. A lot of drivers showing some great pace here. Grills trying to find something through turn 14. Now the Ferrari on exit. Let's see what he can bring to the line. Grills moves up three tenths into fourth position ahead of Jay Forsy Larkin. 15.287. The Mercedes moving into third position. Things are getting tighter up at that front end. We're halfway through Quali. We're just over halfway through. Well, I'm hacker with an issue trying to get things corrected outside pit lane Graz jumps in 15 419 we saw pushing earlier to get things started that removal of the wing now that doesn't matter any longer 15419, fifth position. The Ferrari's showing that third row is on lockdown at the moment.
That fell on his way into the pit lane. Will feel light. Well, he's not coming into the pit lane, actually. Set this lap. Good for sixth position. Well, get in there. Very good run. 15 5 5 6 from the Aston Martin. Burdad crossing into seventh position. Victor Diaz. Jimsy. Now 16 9 5 3. Where's the improvement? It's a second and a half. 15 3 8 9. Very fast run, and while well, you look at Henner's, Cattlekin, Captain Miner, Hello I'm Hacker, all yet to get runs in since they set times on the mediums. Sidewinder beginning a lap. Find the YouTuber on a flyer, I do believe. No, excuse me. I think he just set a time here. 15.276. I could be mistaken. No, he definitely dropped whatever lap this is. So I think he had just crossed through. Sidewinder, meanwhile, invalidated his run. Benini is pushing. Tight to the inside through 14. Spinini, rear wing open to the line, proving just shy of half a second into 10th position. Four minutes remaining, we might see another run from all of these racers. Bay for side beginning another run of his own. Captain Miner on the move, as is Hello I'm Hacker behind him. Mentioned how these racers need to improve on their medium runs. Hacker improving half a second. 15th position. Here comes Jay. Nice improvement there. Two and a half tenths. Ninth position for him. Thrills holding a tiny improvement at the moment. Pushing out of turn 14 to the line. Wow, that's a major improvement. 15-219 is where he will land things into third position. Two and a half minutes remaining in the session. Solid stuff there from the Ferrari. Captain Miner moving through sector two. There has been an issue. I'm curious to who that is, but it is coming out of the last turn, and that is unfortunately Paula Brady. Johnny Disco beginning a lap 15.072 is what he will be looking to improve upon with two minutes remaining in the session. Just about a minute and a half now. Sidewinder 
beginning a lap to try and get a time on the board. Many drivers pushing. Enters improves two tenths. He goes eleventh. Fifteen five oh nine. Many drivers beginning their runs at the minute. So yet to see a run from Gazi. Here for Sire tying the car in the pit lane. We have just shy of a minute remaining in the session as Johnny Disco does improve a 14 8 1 1. Absolutely massive coming out of him and the McLaren DX Surf has begun a lot behind him. Wine YouTuber also on the move. Sidewinder finishing 13th position in this qualifying. Vlad Patin now in the other Red Bull goes second, taking the checkered flag here in the session. Next up was Graz. 15407 is where he will finish things here. Larkin 15287. Captain Minor 15442 is where he will finish out the session as cap well combined YouTuber, excuse me, improving nearly two tenths. 15092, his teammate Dieg Surf coming out of turn 14. Where can the championship leader land? Second position, 14919 on the rear of Johnny Disco. We have ourselves a serious duel up at the top end. Johnny Disco on his way into the pit lane on the rear of his teammate Victor Diaz. Sidewinder as well, and now Spinini. And that is our qualifying session wrapped up, done, and dusted. Johnny Disco 14811. Very, very nice time there from the McLaren. His well, his championship rival. I was gonna say his teammate, but they were one two earlier in the session. Not la uh, not like last week. Last week they finished out the session one two, but I will say this. Johnny Disco and Diego Surf, they are championship rivals at the moment. And, well, Johnny Disco in that second position in the championship will be very happy about where he is starting this race. Diego Surf, essentially on the back foot here. Vlad Patin. Oh. He is going to be very, very happy to maybe contest that. Once again, Mr. Johnny Disco in the McLaren 14-8-1-1. Very solid run from him this evening. The American will be thrilled with Dieg Surf. The Alfa Romeo 14.919, just a tenth on the rear of Johnny. Vlad Patin, the Canadian, in the Red Bull 15.038 from him, just two tenths shy of pole, and with combined YouTuber right up his gearbox. Well, it's going to be a very intense race start to say the least. What a qualifying session it was. Separation on the grid from first all the way down to 16th position was one second. Once the softs really got fired up for these racers. And well, of course, my name is Trifium here from Canada. Bringing you some America's Tier 2 action. Absolutely love to see it. I hope everyone is ready to go racing for 35 laps of the Hungaro Ring. Great time. And we also have the formation lap to bring us so good look at everybody on the grid one down 320 
Alrighty, 20 seconds counting down now. It's going to be solid, solid race as we have dry conditions in front of us for what I do believe is the duration of this campaign. Formation lap underway. Maybe let's take a look at our grid this evening for the Americas tier two racing division of the MRL. We're here in season five for our ninth round of 15 in season on pole position this evening in the McLaren. It is Johnny Disco runner up in this championship on the rear end of in the championship. Mr. Dieg surf. However, things have taken a little bit of a change as they are flipped and it is Johnny in pole position with Dieg Surf lining up in his rear view mirror on the front row. Vlad Putin will start third in the Red Bull with Vlad, well, Vlad Putin will can call his rival combined YouTuber as he will be sitting trying to close the gap to his teammate in fourth position. Thrills in fifth for Ferrari. We have Larkin for Mercedes. It's word ad in seventh for Williams and we have Victor Diaz with us in the McLaren of course Jimsy and we have Graz for the Scuderia Captain Minor for Mercedes Jay for in 11th position for the Alpha Tauris Henry with us in 12th position for Williams Duffeld in 13th for Aston Martin, Sidewinder for Red Bull, 14th position, Spinini in 15th for Alpine. We have Cattle King for Haas, Alarm Hacker for Aston Martin, Paula Brady, Gazieg, and Dengwu all on this grid. Things are really about to get fired up as Johnny Disco and Dieg Surf take their positions at the tip of the spear. Well... Welcome. Take a look at this tire strategy. We have 1 through 10 all on their softs that they qualified on. 11 through 19 on the mediums. And Dengwu, well, he's gone bold. He's gone with the white walled hard compound tires to take us away. And, well, speaking of taking us away, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 red lights here in Hungary. The engines are revving. The lights are on. And they are now dark as we are away racing here look at the launch for Vlad Patin it is nearly three wide as he looks fronts to rears Johnny Disco looking for a close Dieg surfs there wheel to wheel now Dieg surf on the inside of Johnny Disco on the rear of them there's more wheel to wheel exchanging as Johnny Disco holds his lead of this race for the moment Dieg surf not giving way that easily Serious race start between these championship rivals, and there's just so much intensity on the rear end of this grid. Everyone clean up through into turn four so far. Henners, Captain Minor, nine and ten at the moment. Position changes. Well, Henners is up three. Down five is Larkin. Sidewinder and Duffeld, they're having an exchange through the chicane. Paula Brady up two positions, looking for a third as Spinini getting loose on the rear of Duffeld. The mediums, well, everyone looking to get time temperature into those tires as quickly as they can. Henners has found the most of it. Solid race start here so far. That is the opening lap of this race as Johnny Disco brings us out of turn 14 and takes us through the first full lap of contention. Pass a slap to him. You can see pushing off to that inside, trying to build himself a little bit of a gap on Dieg Surf. Things within one second. Dieg Surf has a hunting red bull in his rearview mirrors. Enters Captain Minor, 9 and 10, is in contention. Captain Minor reassuming ninth position on Henners. Offs right now at his disposal. We've seen a pit come out already in the grid. A couple of pits come out from Larkin and Cattle King. The 
combined thrills victor word ad the big train you can see combined just dancing in and around that one second range and something to note is that the one second gap has started over with the front end johnny disco and that separation to dx surf has started to grow that is exactly what he needs this is he needs to pull a gap vlad putin will be all over this alfa romeo momentarily if he is not able to crawl back within drs range here as Johnny pulls out an 18 triple four fastest run of the session now so far. Captain Miner and Graz right now, soft compound tire is really showing a little bit of promise for these racers. Graz on the hunt with Word Ad right now, and he's looking tight to his inside, thinks better of it. See Graz really wanting to move up some positions. He's really been on a charge on the podium hunts lately and wanting to repeat that performance here. Hungary are really Difficult circuit for a lot of racers. And he will be looking to defy the odds given his starting position. He has already pushed up one position. Of course, cheers to everybody in the chat this evening. Welcome in, welcome in. My name is Strifium here from Canada. Hailing from the Great White North, as we call it. Captain Miner with the DRS looking for Graz. Big train information, no late breakers at the moment, no major risk takers. Gap for the lead of the race from first down to Gauzieg, 16.2 seconds. Call it 14 to Deng Wu. And we saw two pit stops come out from Larkin and Cattle King already. Combined under threat right now from Thrills. Going wide a little bit as we come out of 11. Now through 12. Thrills looking for an opportunity to pounce and he can't take too much time because the train is tight and Victor is there. Bit of a snap there for Thrills. He's got the run, he's got the exit. Combined under threat from the Ferrari to the inside. Victor, front row seat, Thrills is there. Combined with a good exit, pushing with what he's got. DRS for Thrills, Victor. Running. Does he have an opportunity on the Ferrari? Combined gets through. Here goes Victor. Thrills holding fifth position for now. Combined in fourth position now as Thrills and Victor do the dance. The entire train in formation all the way down to 13th. In a few moments time we're gonna see some major life come out of the mediums versus these softs and henners is the major benefactor in the Williams here we go it stops already coming through combined calls it in Henry going a little bit later on the brakes. Braz trying to find a way through on Word Ad on that inside line. He just didn't have a gap to step his toe through.
Martin coming out in front of Larkin. 7.8. I wonder if Henry's overtakes Captain Miner before Captain Miner gets Graz or if Graz just pushes word at as we've seen already. Things have been tight throughout this train. And we're at the point of the crossover. Do we see a, mar a massive amount of drivers coming into the pit lane here? You can see Dieg, Surf, Johnny have stayed out. Vlad stays out. Everybody's really staying out here. Excuse me, Wordad says no, I'm coming in. Henner's on the rear of Captain Miner. Captain Miner still with the DRS. There has been a yellow flag popping up. That is Hello, I'm Hacker. He has gone sideways, just coming up through into turn four. And he is looking to see and make sure that he rejoins safely, which great respect for that. Now, do we see some pit stops? We saw Combine come through on the hards. Pit stops coming through for a good chunk of drivers now. Johnny Disco says it's not time yet. Vlad Patin moves into second position, thrills into third. Here goes Henners. He is into fourth with Jay Forsai. Five, Sidewinder six, Spanini, Paula. A lot of drivers moving up into now some... Point scoring positions provisionally, however, a lot of pit stops coming through now. They're all down a pit stop. Johnny holding on to that fastest lap, additional point 18444. Benini has picked up a three second time penalty. Gazi Egg dropping a position not once but twice. Victor and Graz having a fight. Captain Miner trying to find his way through on the slow Haas. On the inside for Captain Miner. Making it look easy. Victor a little bit of a slip on the exit curb of turn oh, on the inside curb of turn 14. This might give Graz an opportunity and an opening. Thrills his teammate. Oh my! Coming around the outside now for Graz on his teammate. Still holding. Thrills not able to do much about Victor there. Mediums for Graz, notably over Victor's hards. Combined in 10th position, he was really the first of the main top five to come in for a solid undercut, and he did it on the hards. Dengwu, very loose here on his hards, with Dieg Surf pushing him tight through out of 14.
There we go. DX search to the inside. Not much in it for Dang Wu here. However, he's holding. Looking for a switchback opportunity. No battery utilization. He's coming under fire now already from Johnny. Johnny much later on the brakes. You can see the differential in the grip in the tires already between the worn hards, the nine lap old hards, and the fresher mediums. This is costing Johnny one second now nearly to de egg surf. And this is a tight area. Oh my, around the outside of the chicane. That was a very critical moment in this race. Dang Wu holding up Johnny like that 1.4. Dieg Surf, of course, on the mediums as well. His championship rivals on a strategy. Right now, I could see them very well tight battling to the end of this race. Captain Miner following along with Thrills and Victor for an opportunity to maybe punch his way through into some more positions. I think as well as Sidewinder very tight still with Jay for Sai. Something's happened there with Captain Miner. He has had a spin of some capacity coming out of turn four, and that is Gauzieg driving straight into the rear of him. That is a yellow flag. That was a very interesting situation. I don't know if Gazi wasn't paying attention there or if that was an unsafe rejoin. Very interesting scenario unfolding right there. The Egg Surf and Paula Exchange. Yellow flag there, that is going to be Captain Miner. Johnny Disco getting through neatly on Paula just ahead of the chicane.
Enters 2.3 seconds and growing to J for Psy. Sidewinder under threat, or excuse me, Jay for sign under threat. Sidewinder up the inside on Jay. Looking to take that position away from the Alpha Tauri. The Alpha Tauri and the Red Bull fighting very hard right now. Sidewinder into second position. Three point two seconds, three point three nearly the gap between Sidewinder and Henners. We'll see if he's able to do something and break that down. Here goes Dieg Surf on Spinini to the left hand side, pushing ahead of the Alpine now and securing fourth position. Out of the 14 lap old mediums and the penalty. Dave Versai will be next for the Alfa Romeo. And well, for Johnny Disco, he'll be looking to close the gap to Spinini and do the same as what we just saw with the Alfa Romeo now. Paula Brady. And Vlad Putin, they have an exchange. Vlad Putin into seventh position. Mind YouTuber with Graz, six lap old mediums, eight lap old hards. Solid pace out of both drivers, but towards the end of this race, which tire will be better? Johnny dispatching Spinini now. We get some in updated times in a moment as Diego Surf sort of hunts down Jay. Pushing both drivers with DRS. Battery neutralization for the Alfa Romeo. It's Alpha versus Alpha up the inside for Diego Surf. Nicely done there, and he will now look to go and capture Sidewinder just the same. Combine and Graz, wheel the wheel through out of turn one. Still wheel the wheel. Combine, getting in front of the Ferrari. Henner's 3.9 seconds, the gap to Sidewinder. Benini picks up three seconds. I think Sidewinder just holding that 3.9 right now. Here goes Dieg Surf. He'll be looking to break down that gap to Henner's immediately. Johnny Disco and Jay for Sai. Well, they're going to exchange. There's a yellow in sector two. Word at off track. No major safety car, virtual or otherwise.
Shawnee really trying to make up some ground to the egg surf and he's doing well right now to do that. He is within that one second margin. Just well he's just dancing in and around there. What happened to Graz? I'm curious as to why he had to come in again. That is a very interesting situation and circumstance. We have an issue through sector two. That sparked, I think, between Farm Hacker and maybe Cattle King. Sidewinder leading Jay for Sai. Vlad Patin in a serious train right now. And it's Vlad Patin who wants to break through it. Lap 18 at 35. Enters. Starting lap 19, Wordad picks up five seconds for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, that was a big snap from Vlad Putin. Oh my. Surely he's got front end damage. Yes, he does. That is going to lose him a number of positions. That was tough. That's going to be very, very frustrating to handle through here in the Hungaro ring as well. You can see Paula Brady says bye bye. Combined ninth position on the 12 lap old hards right now looking stellar in this position given where he started started in the fourth position and I think he may just still land there considering you see there's a good number of drivers in front of him here yet to pit he is on pit stops provisionally fourth so all driving him so far we have a yellow flag up through turn one what's happened here that's Gauzy egg looking the wrong way. Trying to find his bones. Still on lap 19 here. All right, so let's park ourselves on with some major action in a fight for what is the lead potentially of this championship. There is 13 points separating these two drivers, Diego Surf and Johnny Disco. Of course, Johnny Disco wanting to do everything he can to finish ahead of this Alfa Romeo, and we've really got the yellow flag starting to pop up more often in the later stage of this race. Word ad with a problem, no front end any longer that's tough hold off there as cattle king and hello I'm hacker go wheel to wheel hello I'm hacker giving him a wide berth through turn one or at least going wide enough to do so Nothing yet coming out of Dieg Surfing. Johnny Henner is really holding out long on these mediums.
causing calling the car into the pit lane retiring the car in the pit lane unfortunate to see We're dad calling it as well. That's two cars now. Inside of the lap to call it into the pit lane. And unfortunate that their races are done early. Tiny Disco really not using much battery right now. Hanner's giving Dieg Surf DRS to really fend off Johnny. We know how critical that DRS can be on that run into turn one. A lot of great action, a lot of great battles unfolding on circuit. You absolutely love to see the battles and strategy unfolding here. Vlad Putin, 18-0-3-8 as he's come in for a wing change and all that new rubber he can ask for on the first set of mediums. Combined under threat right now from Victor. Victor gets a snap and he loses his opportunity to maybe push and apply any further pressure as combined now looking to do some pressuring of his own on Deng Wu who's still on his starting hards seventh position for Deng Wu starting from 20th as Jay for Sai well, what's happened to Jay Jay's had an issue here comes Deng Wu here comes combined Not clear on what happened there, but Hello I'm Hacker has called that car into the pit lane. And it is really a rolling roadblock for these drivers on the fresher rubber right now. And he's loving it, surely, as he sees yellow flags pop up. I'm sure he's waiting for a potential safety car. You can see he's made up 11 positions. A safety car would be very good for him. Look at the run for Johnny Disco. Through on the inside now. He's going to find that inside. Wheel to wheel. And there's contact. Front end to rear end. There's a wheel bang. And there's Johnny Disco around oh dear oh dear that was a tough risky move oh man not happy about that he looks for an opportunity I mean hungry known for its difficulty in overtaking Victor combined. Nice little battle unfolding here. Co combined under threat from the McLaren on the inside now as we come through turn two. Very solid push from Victor. Back through on the inside for combined. Not a lot in it for him right now to hold this. Henner is finally into the pit lane now, really giving Dieg Surf some breathing space. Lap 25 out of 35.
Henry's on the fresh softs in such a position right now. Dang Wu. Under immediate threat on those hards who he's moved up from 20th position. Around the outside into the chicane, no fear. What a move from Henners. Fresh softs, I mean, the risk that he just took, he's gone. Bye. Seriously. Victor Diaz up next on the chopping block. Henners on these softs, really giving us some action. Here he goes now, looking to that inside. Pushing through easy. 6.5 and dropping now to Johnny Disco and Henner's really, really with the good tire right now. Sidewinder picking up a three second time penalty. Larkin dropping to Paula. Paula in a similar situation to Henner's where the fresh softs right now really going to pay off. Vlad Putin already in her sights. Henner's a 16.7. Fastest lap now of the race in the Williams. 4.5 the gap already to Johnny Disco and just like that Henner's is in a prime position for a potential podium from a solid potential, well from a solid position where he started He's up eight positions in this race. Paula's up eight positions in this race as well. Great drives coming out of the pair. Henners and Paula on these softs at this stage of the race. Of course, we can talk about Jay Forsyth as well, who's been having a good drive, and he's looking to pressure Graz. Three point four seconds and of course Johnny Disco within DRS range of Sidewinder brings Henders even closer to a potential second position finish. Of course, big shout out to everybody in the stream. Thank you to everybody hitting that follow button and joining us for tonight's race. We have Fantastic racing all week long with as many streams as we can do. Six racing broadcasts here on the MRL channel. My name is Striffy. I'm here from Canada for the America's Tier 2 division tonight and Tier 1 tomorrow. Got some pit stops coming out now as Sidewinder called it in finally. Here we have Paula hunting down Vlad. Utilizing a touch of the battery. Not too, too much though. Sidewinder coming out. Looking to play a little bit of a rolling roadblock game on the fresh tire. Spinini, Vlad Putin, wheel the wheel. Vlad Putin through. Sidewinder on the fresh softs. Really going to have an opportunity to pull away on Vlad. Three seconds for Sidewinder. Big train linking up here now on the rear of Sidewinder for seventh position. You can see there's no plus ones at the moment, all the way down to 13th. Paula on the inside of Spinini. Solid overtaking opportunity there. 
taken and executed nicely. Larkin looking for Spinini as well. Thrills and combined, excuse me, wheel to wheel right now. Thrills on the inside looking for the Australian. Combined looking for a way back through on the inside, through into turn two, around the outside for Thrills. Holding as we come back through turn three. Thrills is still there, but combined in fifth. Holds well. 22 lap old hards for the Aussie. Enters on the rear of Johnny Disco, less than half a second. Softs versus 19 lap bold mediums. This only goes one way if I'm right, and that's Henners taking this second position and going to hunt down the 20 lap bold, soon to be 21 lap bold mediums. Burning rubber right now, Henners. DRS wide open, pushing to that. Left hand side before Johnny even has an opportunity to get there. Nine seconds now, the gap for Henners and Dieg Surf. Let's take a look in a few moments at what he is able to do. But that is, if he's able to keep things clean through to the end, a solid potential second position for Henners in the Williams. He has made up 10 positions in this race. Thrills and combine their fight continuing as Larkin and Spinini. Oh, Larkin around the outside. Spinini just could not get things spun back around. Jay Frasai will take 12th position. Dengwu, his teammate, will now push through. This has been a very, very good race. Up and down with strategy. A lot of solid pace, some risks being taken. We saw that one primarily earlier from Johnny Disco. What's happened there? Graz with an issue in the Ferrari. Looks like something happened up in turn 13. Up 31 of 35, Dieg, Surf, Henners, Johnny Disco, your top three. Henners has not been able to narrow that nine second gap to Dieg, Surf. The pace has potentially equalized. Thrills was about to, oh, he's done it again. I thought Thrills was about to lose the car. Sidewinder on the rear of Thrills is gonna have an opportunity. A good opportunity on these fresh softs, showing a lot of speed. Rills defending to that inside. You can see Sidewinder showing it around the outside right now with the exit. Does he have enough? Now inside through turn two. Very, very solid push for Sidewinder there on these softs to get thrills. Three seconds, the time penalty for him. Wanting to find as much as he can on those tires right now.
Sidewinder on the rear of Combine. Really looking to push position with this penalty right now. Every tenth, every second that he can find in this race matters with three seconds. Every single one. Any separation he can give himself in this grid matters. The egg surf, 24 laps on the mediums right now. Pushing a serious stint. We're about to enter the penultimate lap of the race, and he has done a very good job of holding lead of it for some time now. All right, here we go. An ultimate lap, 8.6 seconds the gap to Henners. Vlad Patin hunting down thrills, thrills with combined. Things starting to really turn up a little bit for Sidewinder. He might just find himself within a threshold for a couple of points. Putin holding it tight to the rear of thrills right now with a solid run on these mediums Not enough to squeeze it through on the Ferrari though Graz a 16 533 on the softs Ensuring that that fastest lap point does not find its way into the standings as it will need to be held by a top 10 driver in order for that to count Final lap of the race, ladies and gentlemen. The Egg Surf Henners and Johnny Disco looking like it's going to be the podium right now. Thrills, Vlad Putin. A fight of their own. Here goes Vlad Putin on the inside of Thrills. Thrills pushing with everything. He's got a huge lunge coming out of Vlad Putin. Oh my, does he get two with that? That was deep, real deep, and that might just be... Two done. Combined says, you want to do that? I'll do it too. And that's cost him. That's cost him dearly. Vlad Putin, sixth position. Thrills, seventh. Some lace. Some... <laughs> oh my god. Some last lap drama. That was huge. Fourteen lap old mediums out of Vlad Putin really taking advantage out of the hard runners there, but it was Dieg Surf that takes the checkered flag and the race win here. Henners will take second position. Johnny Disco will take third. And it will be his teammate Victor Diaz for the McLarens to take the fourth slot. So it's three and four for them. Five and six for the Red Bulls. Wow. That was a very, very interesting finish to that race, considering that lunge. My, oh, my, what a race. Great stuff, great stuff. Really solid race. Really enjoyed that. We're going to get interviews with the available podium finishers in just a few moments. What a race there. What a lunge from Vlad Putin there. I'm not sure if he made contact with Combine. Combine went a little bit late on the brakes back through turn two. 
quite the little fight that we saw between the pair, and it was unfortunate for Combine because it lost him the position to Frills. Henner is getting the game awarded driver of the day for getting 10 positions gained. It will be the Englishman, of course, finishing second position next to this man right here, Diego Sir for Alfa Romeo, once again, collecting a race win in a solid effort from second position on this grid with Johnny Disco, of course, in the McLaren, who started on pole, finishing third position after a hard-fought battle. Just a solid race overall here in Hungary for the Americas Tier 2. And join us just in a moment's time for the interviews as we get to hear from all three of our podium finishers. Across the slop, 16.533 from Graz in the end. An up and down race for the Ferrari. Not just how he wanted things to go shortly after his last few good runs out. Take a look, though. Dieg Surf, Henners, Johnny Disco, your top three. It was Victor Diaz in fourth, Sidewinder in fifth, Vlad Putin in sixth, Thrills seventh, Combined in eighth, Paula in ninth, and Jay Versailles running out a double points finish for the Alpha Tauris in that 10th slot there. And so a solid finish all around the points for everyone there. Well, take a look who we can get ourselves into. Alrighty, we do have some interviews, and for the interviews, first person to speak to this evening will be Mr. Johnny Disco. Johnny, welcome in. A bittersweet finish, starting this one, pole position, finishing in third, an up and down race for you. Just talk us through this one here in Hungary. Uh, yeah, I, went, I was trying to go for a cheeky move on the egg there, and I just, it was a stupid move. There's not enough space there to go too wide. Retrospect. Obviously, you saying it was a little bit of a mistake there. How would you play it differently looking back on it? I know it's immediately after the race, but do you have something that you would have tried differently? Maybe turn one or maybe a run into turn four or something like that? Uh, yeah, I'd probably, prob I probably should have waited to the straight. That would have been the better option, but I saw the opportunity, so I went for it. And I still got the podium, so. Definitely still getting that podium, of course. Solid race from you, Hungary. A very, very well. It, it can be a, a solid circuit for some, a difficult circuit for others. This circuit, however, really kind of setting us up for what's to come in round ten, Singapore next week. How are you prepared for that? Oh, I I hate street circuits, so not looking forward to it. But I'll put the hours in. Well, it's definitely a serious championship push right now, considering you and your rival DX are collecting podiums. How are you feeling about the championship fight? I still think I can pull him back over these next few races. Well, definitely looking forward to it, Johnny, and congratulations on the P3. Any messages for the stream? Uh, no. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview me next week for Singapore. Yep, have a good night. That was, of course, Johnny. Next up for interviews, it is going to be our P2 finisher, our second place runner, Mr. Henners, starting this race in 12th position, coming through to collect a podium for Williams. Henners, congratulations on the podium finish. Welcome back to the booth. How are you feeling about the race? Quite an interesting one, actually. Oh, I, I was shocking in quality, so I was... Uh happy start on the mediums but then i think my pace was strong i think i was 
just as fast as a soft guy is from lap five onwards. Um, and yeah, it went from there. Really, it was it was a solid, solid soft thing as well. I was seventy five percent at the end, so I was touching <laughs> touching grass. <laughs> Well, definitely, definitely it's a, a solid race. It was a great race to broadcast as well. A lot of overtakes, a lot of risk-taking moves for everybody on the grid. You had some good opportunities as well. You had a solid strategy in this one with the mediums, really bringing yourself into a, a good race position. Was there any strategy waiting for a safety car? What, what was your tire wear like in the end? Because you pushed those absolutely as long as you could. Was that the strategy the whole time? Or did it just develop with the race as it went on? Yeah, I had some little rumors that the medium soft was a good a good stint to go on. So I was I was pushed the medium. I think they were just like around seventy percent, and then I just went to soft, and the softs were then about seventy percent at the end. So I was I was pretty lucky with that, but they, they worked well. Well, Singapore coming up round ten next week. How are you feeling about? The Marina Bay Street Circuit. Shocking. Don't want to race it. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that thumbs it up. Henry, any messages for the chat? Uh, thanks to Wolf Lauren. Great engineer. Top dog. Well, big shout out to Wolf Lauren. Henry, thank you for taking the time to interview. And congratulations. Thanks. That was Henners, ladies and gentlemen. Now, finally, last but not least, of course, we are going to take a moment to talk to our Alfa Romeo, our championship leader, our race winner. It is Dieg Surf. Congratulations. How are you feeling after Hungary? In a way, I am feeling good for winning this. It's a hard track, and it felt quite risky on a lot of the curbs. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to fight to the end with Johnny. So it's sort of mixed feelings there. How did you feel about the move that he tried on you there? Obviously, he was just looking for an opportunity to get through Hungary. Difficult overtaking circuit. Would you have maybe done the same thing in his position or would you have waited a little bit longer? He mentioned in, in retrospect he would have waited a little bit longer. Obviously, going up the inside there, not the most ideal through that fast right. But just how was it from your end? Um, from what I was seeing, I think Johnny was definitely more confident during that stage of the race. Um, I think if I was him, I probably would have waited a little longer since I was under pressure, you know, from behind. And, you know, it was sort of weird. Like, do I pass uh, Henners? Do I not pass him? Do I take his DRS? So it was sort of confusing. And I don't know. I, I think it was sort of it was a risky move on that corner. Um, but I think since he was just confident there, he maybe should have just waited and done the move later because he totally could have. Well, it was a solid race from the pair of you, and of course, Henner's now collecting a second position from 12th. He has some good pace that he showed us today. Has there been any concern with Henner's in this championship for you or Johnny, potentially up at the top end of the field? Um, well, I believe he is third. So, yes, he has been definitely um, a main championship contender. Um, but I believe we've built a bit of a gap, unfortunately, because I think he... Um, was like he was absent in one of these races so due to a couple absences he was um losing out on some points so he's slightly behind but he might be able to catch up with this with this win tonight you know you're taking another good a little bit of a step over johnny at what point do you think do you think this is your championship or do you want to say you know be humble about it say you know not just yet you want to build more of a gap because Johnny's he's not too too far if I'm not mistaken the separations of mm -hmm. 23 points so a race yeah, I mean win or a couple of you know podiums difference right now after I mean after Baku um obviously the gap got a little closer um you know considering kind of lost a lot of points there but so you know obviously because of that and it's not that big of a gap there's still almost you know I think now we are just reaching the halfway point so, you know, 23 points, halfway point. Yeah, there's a lot of leeway to who can win. Well, definitely looking forward to seeing how the championship helps, of course. And again, congratulations on your first place finish here in Hungary. Any messages for the stream before we wrap things up? No, just uh, once again, you know, thank the pit crew, uh, you know, Thoughts Classic, Classic Engineer, and um, yeah, just 
Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> it was partially my fault. I, I admit that much. Well, it was, a, it was a solid, solid race between the pair of you. And of course, again, next week, we'll see how things go with you in Singapore. And thank you for taking the time to interview. Thank you. All right, that is going to wrap up action tonight for the America's Tier 2 Hungarian GP. Tomorrow, you can find us live for the Tier 3 racing at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 8 p.m. BST, or 9 p.m. for those of you in Central Europe. And then tomorrow night, I'll be back with the America's Tier 1 at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 2 a.m. for us BST. So with that, I will leave you for now... Till tomorrow's America's Tier 1 Racing Action. It's going to be an absolute blast. The battle between Lucas Yan, Becky B, wages forth and continues. And it is going to be absolutely massive after the drives that we saw last week. That much I can guarantee you. And well, we'll see you then. Ciao, ciao for now.